Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily make a color palette that you can use as a reference or a guide for when you're designing your scrapbooking page uh, layouts. Uh, this color palette can uh, easily be used whenever you're choosing colors for your fonts, uh, for your text, for your type, for your borders, uh, any kind of backgrounds. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create it so you can see what I'm talking about and it'll be a little bit easier to understand uh, what you'd use it for. So well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File, hit New, then Blank File. And you can do this any size you want. I have it set up for 210 uh, width, 360 height, resolution of 72. The resolution doesn't matter because we're just using this as a guide for our colors. Go ahead and hit OK. And we have our blank page. Now what I'm going to go is uh, create a new layer. I'm going to leave my background as white, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Go over to my rectangular marquee tool, make sure the square one is selected, and I'm just going to make a little square, maybe 40 pixels by 40 pixels or whatever. It doesn't the size doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the bigger it is, the less blocks you're going to have on here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, and then what I'm going to do is go down to my color swatches, and I'm just going to randomly pick a color. Doesn't really matter what the color is. Hit OK. I'm going to head over to my paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill that square in with that color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my right arrow key and I'm going to slide it over so I can change my square selection to a different area. Go back down to my color swatches and I'm going to pick a different color. Like I said these are all going to be random. I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to go over, pick another color, and I'm going to fill that in and I'm going to actually fill this uh, whole page up with various colors so um, it's going to take a little bit of time but I've already done this so you don't have to painstakingly watch me do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually exit out of here and I'm going to go ahead and open the one that I worked on previously and here it is so here we now have our color palette with all these different random colors and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the layer with all of the colors. And I'm going to click on the Create Adjustment Layer button. And I'm going to choose Solid Color. Now the color you choose depends on the kind of uh, theme that you're looking for. We have, uh, this is January, we have Valentine's Day coming up. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to pick a pink color for that. And now with the Fill Color selected, I'm going to change the Opacity to around 80 and then here's the the key is I'm going to change the layer from normal to color now if you look we have all different shades of that pink that we can use as a guide for when we're creating some kind of Valentine's Day uh, layout in our designs if, if uh, you know you can choose your fonts and you know this color is going to work with that one and all these colors will basically work together on the same page now just to show you a little bit, something a little bit different, I'm going to go and delete that layer out of there. Let's go ahead and create another one, solid color. Let's say now we have uh, autumn coming up, so we want more of like the outdoor autumn colors. So I'm going to pick that, and once again I'm going to go up to the opacity on that layer being around 80, and change the layer to a color. Uh, so now we have the palette for autumn type colors or fall that we can definitely use all of these colors in our design and they would certainly uh, work with each other. So just for fun let me go do another one. These are so easy to do. Let's say I want to do something um, I don't know more of like a blue a blue color. Let's go ahead and pick blue. Once again change that to 80. Change the color to color, and there we go. Now we have all different shades uh, and light, uh, different colors and shades of blue and brightnesses of blue that we can use in our layouts. So what you could do is, is you could pick uh, different colors for the uh, the color fill and uh, save these individually in like a color palettes folder. So whenever you're ready to come up with something. Uh, 
you know, Christmassy, maybe that's red, you know, the pink obviously for Valentine's Day, uh, different colors for uh, fall and autumn and, and things like that. So that's a that's an easy way to create your own little color palette references for when you're working on and designing your digital scrapbooking pages. For all your scrapbooking needs, be sure to visit www.scrapbookingsuppliesandmore.com.